Hi guys, this is Saurav here and welcome to another session for the KVPY SX program. This is for grade 12 and in this session we would be discussing chemical kinetics, radioactivity and electrochemistry. Chemical kinetics, electrochemistry se zyada questions aate hain, electrochemistry se thoda kam aur bahut simple questions aate hain. Like if agar aapne in questions ko dekha, you will feel like ki ye hamare board level ke questions hain. But yes, KVPY does ask easy questions but not necessarily सिर्फ easy में easy आएगा किसी और चीज में थोड़ difficult आ सकता है however the questions that we would be taking would be larger number but remember these questions are exactly taken from KVPY previous papers and so practicing certain ty similar type of questions will give you the proficiency over others एक चीज याद रखो chemical kinetics में जो topics which are more important are uh, I would say the orders of reactions, zero order reaction, T, uh, T half and bit of radioactivity which you have to see that which particles are coming from disintegration. In electrochemistry, uh, nurse equation, calculation of cell potential, calculation of electrode potential, uh, Gibbs free energy and electroplating. This part is only important. This se alave questions nahi puche ja rahe. I have seen questions from all past eight years, and uh, questions are not being asked apart from these few topics. So today's session is on chemical kind of radioactivity electrochem. Next session jo hoga 29th August ka, wo hoga atomic structure, bonding and periodic properties. So ye 11th standard ka topic hai. Whatever today we are discussing, partly is of uh, uh, sorry, it's from 12th standard. Okay, so ye dono chapters aapne 12th standard mein abhi filal cover kiye honge. So I guess ye, ye questions aapko easy lagenge. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's start today's session. And the only thing before that I would tell you is please do subscribe to the Telegram channel and please do join the Telegram channel for uh, the J <coughs> the Vedantu J channel and. Also, please do like, share and subscribe because the more you spread the word, the more people will know about this amazing program that is on the Vedantu channel. It's not available on any other channels. So, let's start today's session. Let's look at the first question. The first question is this. The concentration of a substance undergoing a chemical reaction becomes one half of its original value after time t regardless of the initial constant re reaction is an example of. The answer to this question can be calculated very easily if you remember this re relation that t half is inversely proportional to 1 by a to the power n minus 1 where n is the order so agar n ki value aap bol rahe ki regardless ho gaya aapne bola ki a ke upar depend hi nahi kar raha hai original after time t regardless of the initial concentration a ki value pe depend hi nahi kar raha hai so that means a to the power 0 hona chahiye a to the power 0 ka baad jab n is equal to 1 so that means this n this should be a first order reaction this should be a first order reaction. Okay? Chali. Next question. Pe hai. In a nuclear reaction, 234-90 thorium is converting into 234-91 Pa. Pa is protactinium ka atomic symbol. And plus X. What is X? We have to identify karna hai. what is X. So, what is X? If I look at the mass number, the mass number remains the same. Okay? But the atomic number is changing. 90 changes to 91. How do I balance this? I will balance this by putting. I will balance this by putting this as equal to 0 minus 1 e. Why? If I put minus 1, then 91 minus 1 will become equal to 90. And this will be 234 plus 0. 234 remains us. So this is known as a beta particle. A radioactivity means beta particle. But there's a lot of radioactive uh, radio uh, alpha rays, beta rays, as rays when a nucleus disintegrates. This is known as a beta particle. The right answer to this question will be option A. Okay? Chali. Simple question. There are difficult questions. So don't worry about this. Next. Increasing the temperature increases the rate of reaction but does not increase the. Isko yaad rakho kaise hota hai. If you think of temperature as a mechanism which increases the rate of reaction. Rate of reaction temperature increase karne se increase karega. Now, agar aapne isko ek real life example mein samajna hai, then try and understand that agar aapki class mein 100 students hain and 100 students examination ke liye tiyari kar rahe hain, 
uh, let's say the examination is ITJ. So initially, it's quite possible that some students are very good. 10 students are very good and they could qualify the examination. But if you have a good mentorship, milti hai, you have a good teacher and uh, the teacher works hard with you, you get good notes, milte hai, then probably 10 people who were prop qualifying without the help of a teacher, now the total number of people qualifying becomes equal to 20 or 30. So what has changed? The change happens not to the number of students, not to the effort that you are putting the change happens in the uh, uh, change also does not happen in the uh, you can say the difficulty level of the examination like idj examination ka difficulty is baat pe depend nahi karta ki aapko teacher padha rahe hain ki nahi padha rahe what does change is the way you are working towards your particular goal aap zyada disciplined ho jate ho aapko achhi mentorship milti hai your concepts are more clear so remember what does what changes is the average number of collisions no number of collisions almost constant hi rahenge activation energy nahi activation energy is the amount of effort that you are putting amount of effort utna hi lagega amount of effort utna hi lagega but the way you are putting effort will change so the way you are putting effort is the average energy of collisions so average energy of collisions changes average velocity of the reactant molecules also changes number of collisions be kafi at the temperature increase and number of collisions be increase kar jayenge. activation energy does not change so the right answer to this question is activation energy remember is ko nikalte hain k is equal to a e to the power minus E A upon R T, Arrhenius equation say when I change the temperature only activation energy uh, this part will be affected. Ye wala jo part hai, wahi effect hota hai. And this part defines the total number of collisions or the number of active collisions. What does not change is E A value. Ye change nahi karega. Okay, activation energy change nahi karega. Thik hai? Chali. Let's move on to the next question. For a first order reaction, reactant changing into product, the rate constant is K if the initial concentration of R is R0. The concentration of R at any time T is given by the expression. How do we identify this? Bohut simple hai. First order reaction. Agar aapko yaad ho, first order reaction. First order reaction. It is written as K is 2.303 upon T log of A by A minus X, where A is the initial concentration, A minus X is the final concentration of the reactant. Now, initial concentration ko hum R naught bol dete hain. And final concentration, it's let's say R. Okay. I can re rewrite this thing as 2.303 is liye kiya gaya tha because to change it into log base 10. If I want to keep it as log base E mein hi mujhe rakhna hai, to main isko likh dunga ln r0 upon r 1 by t. I will write this thing further as kt is equal to ln r0 upon r which will transform into r0 upon r is equal to e to the power kt. Okay? If I take if I take the inverse of this, it will become R, R upon R naught will be equal to e to the power minus kt. If I isko R by R naught, denominator ko numerator bana deta ho, numerator ko denominator, then it will become R by R naught, which can be written as R equals to R naught e to the power minus kt. So right answer mara kya ho jayega? Concentration R at even any given point of time can be written as R naught e to the power minus kt. The right answer should be See, कभी आपसे ये भी पूछा जा सकता है कि how much, how much is dissociated. So this is the final, and R naught is initial. So how much is dissociated? R naught. So amount dissociated. अगर आपसे पूछा गया है, which is x, which will be equal to R naught one minus e to the power minus kt. ठीक है? बढ़िया? चलो आगे चलते हैं. 
Next question is this. The rate of a gas phase chemical reaction generally increases rapidly with increase in temperature. This is mainly because अगर मैंने टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज किया तो रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन क्यों इंक्रीज कर जाता है बहुत सिंपल तरीके से एक्सप्लेन किया जा सकता है यू मस्ट हैव रेड इन गैशियस स्टेट अबाउट अ सर्टेन प्लॉट व्हिच लुक्स लाइक दिस गैशियस स्टेट में आपने एक प्लॉट पढ़ा था बोल्समैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कर्व ओके दिस इज बोल्समैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कर्व सो दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स एनर्जी आप देख रहे हैं कि देर आर वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स विच हैव वेरी लार्ज एनर्जी लेट से दिस इज द थ्रेश होल्ड एनर्जी दैट नीड्स टू बी क्रॉस्ड इतना थ्रेश होल्ड एनर्जी होना चाहिए फॉर एनी रिएक्शन टू टेक प्लेस मतलब इतना अगर रिएक्शन में एनर्जी रहा इट्स लाइक द मिनिमम क्वालिफाइंग मार्क्स फॉर एन एग्जामिनेशन सो थ्रेश होल्ड एनर्जी अगर आपके पास है आप रिएक्शन में रिएक्टेंट टू प्रोडक्ट में कन्वर्जन हो सकता है इट कैन हैपन रिएक्टेंट टू प्रोडक्ट कन्वर्जेशन कैन हैपन नाउ वॉट यू डू इज वॉट यू डू इज यू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर वॉट यू ऑब्जर्व इज दैट दिस number the fraction the number of molecules now possessing the minimum threshold energy has increased okay remember if there is a class average of uh, the, uh, the class average marks of probably 30 without a teacher agar teacher enter karta hai to 50 marks ho gaya so that's quite possible because the average marks of the whole class is increasing also the rate is increased similarly over here this is at a temperature t1 this sorry t2 and this is at temperature t1 t2 is more than t1 so when you increase the temperature the number of molecules which possess more energy than the minimum energy required for performing the reaction increases so let's look at this uh, is mainly because the collision frequency increases कोलिजन फ्रीक्वेंसी ओके इंक्रीज करता है बट डज कोलिजन फ्रीक्वेंसी मीन दैट दे मोर कोलिजन कैन हैपन बट इफ द एनर्जी इज नॉट ऑप्टिम दे कैन नॉट क्रॉस ओवर द एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी बैरियर और द थ्रेश होल्ड एनर्जी बैरियर द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स हैविंग एनर्जी एक्सेस ऑफ एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी इंक्रीजेज विथ टेम्परेचर द एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी डिक्रीज विथ टेम्परेचर ये तो हो ही नहीं सकता है the average kinetic energy of the molecule increases this is true this is also true but a more correct statement is this number of molecules which now can cross the activation energy barrier now possess the minimum energy now possess the minimum energy to cross the threshold energy barrier increases activation energy barrier or threshold energy barrier mein koi difference nahi hai okay two separate words ek hi cheez ko describe karte hain so this is the threshold and minimum marks required jaise samajh lo isko theek hai answer ho jayega b next question the value of the limiting molar conductivity for nacl hcl and naoac is 126.4 425.9 and 91 cm cm2 per mole inverse respectively for hoac how do we calculate this we use the uh, statement of kolrus law kolrus law ye kehta hai ki at infinite dilution all ions behave independently so if this substance is to be constructed agar maine deconstruct kiya maan lo ki deconstruct ya construct kiya एच ओ ए सी डिसोसिएट्स टू फॉर्म एच प्लस एंड ओ ए सी माइनस अब एच प्लस किसी और सब्सटेंस से आ रहा है और ओ ए सी माइनस किसी और सब्सटेंस से आ रहा है दैट डज नॉट क्रिएट एनी डिफरेंस एज कंपेयर टू इफ एच प्लस और ओ ए सी इज कमिंग फ्रॉम ओन दिस पर्टिकुलर सब्सटेंस इसका मतलब मैं ये समझाना चाहता हूं कि एट इन्फाइनाइट डायल्यूशन द ओरिजिन ऑफ एच प्लस On origin of OAC minus does not play any role. वो कहीं से भी आ सकता है If as long as that is present in the medium, मैं उनको उनके molar conductivities को add कर दूंगा I will get the correct result. But how do I इनको solve कैसे करना है So इसको हम simultaneous equation जैसा solve करते हैं How do we solve this? We should solve this like a simultaneous equation. So if I look at molar conductivity for any CL, so for nacl this will be equal to molar conductivity for na plus 
plus molar conductivity for Cl minus. Okay, it's as simple as that. If I write it for HCl, I will write it as molar conductivity for H plus plus molar conductivity for Cl minus. Paka? Okay. Molar conductivity for NaOAC is molar conductivity for Na plus plus molar conductivity for OAC minus. Now, मुझे निकालना क्या है? I have to calculate it for I have to calculate for HOAC. For this, the expression will be molar conductivity of H plus plus molar conductivity of OAC minus. Okay. Now, you have to understand that if I take, if I get the sum by any combination of two, three equations, I will get the correct result. In, at infinite dilution, every ion behaves independently. So, I can solve this question as a simultaneous equation. So, what I can do is, if I subtract this, sorry, if I subtract NaCl, मैं इस पार्ट को, let's say this is equation one and this is equation two and this is equation three. If I subtract equation one from equation two and equation three, I will get the result. ये Na plus Na plus cancel हो जाएगा. Cl minus Cl minus cancel हो जाएगा. What will be left out is this and this, and I will get the right result. So what I have to do is I have to take molar conductivity for NaOAC plus that of HCl and subtract NaCl. Okay, very simple. Kya answer aega? Dekh lo. Uh, NaOAC and HCl 425.991. So this will turn out to be uh, 516 and 915. 16.9 minus 126.4 so ho jana chahiye kitna 390.5 right answer should be 390.5 okay chali next question pe chalte hain bahut simple tha isse aada koi difficult question nahi aata hai Next question is this. The standard Gibbs free energy change in kilojoule in Daniel cell when two moles of zinc is oxidized. Very simple question. Very easy. Hai. They got two moles zinc 2 plus ko apne oxidize. Kar diya. So zinc gives out, uh, takes up, sorry, oxidize. Kar rahe hai. I will write zinc changes to zinc 2 plus and take out two electron. So if one mole undergoes oxidation, two moles of electrons are given out. But if two moles are undergoing oxidation, four moles of electrons are given out. So four moles of electrons. One mole of electron carries a charge of one Faraday. Four moles of electrons will carry a charge of how, many, how much? Four Faraday. So how will we this equation? Ko solve karne ke liye? I will use this equation. Delta G naught is equal to minus N F E naught. What is given? E naught is given as uh, 1.1. Okay, F value F value is 96500. And what is the value of n that I should be putting? N is the number of electrons which is either lost or gained in a particular process. Now, if I look at this reaction, two electrons are being lost. But if two moles of one mole of zinc loses two moles of electron. But when two moles of zinc are taken, this will become four. So I will put four over here. Multiply this. I will get 965 times uh, 4.4. The right answer should turn out to be how much? Thirty six, thirty six. So, this should be Four twenty four point six. This will turn out. Answer will come in terms of joules. You have to divide it by thousand so as to get the answer in kilojoules. Okay. The right answer will turn out to be C. Clear? Calculate. Calculate. Answer. 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 Answer.
अगर दो मोल दिए गए हैं तो नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल ऑल्सो चेंज नेक्स्ट इन अ जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन ऑफ द इनिशियल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द रिएक्टेंट इज डबल्ड द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर हाफ लाइफ ऑफ द रिएक्शन टू बी कंज्यूम्ड द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर हाफ ऑफ द रिएक्टेंट टू बी कंज्यूम्ड टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर हाफ ऑफ द रिएक्टेंट टू बी कंज्यूम आपने इनिशियल कंसेंट्रेशन को डबल कर दिया है इसको सॉल्व करना बहुत ईजी है ठीक है आई डोंट हैव टू इवन टेल यू द फॉर्मूला बट आई लेट मी सो टी हाफ फॉर अ जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन कम्स एस टू बी ए अपॉन टू के ओके टी हाफ इज ए अपॉन टू के फॉर अ जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन ना इफ यू डबल द सो टी हाफ इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू ए इफ यू डबल दिस टी हाफ विल ऑल्सो बी डबल्ड सो जीरो इनिशियल कंसेंट्रेशन इज डबल्ड the time required for half of the react half of the reactant to be consumed that means half life kitna hoga uh, increases by two fold answer ho jayega a theek hai chaliye next if fe3 plus actually this should not be fe3 plus uh fe3 plus this should be रिडक्शन बोलेंगे and what is this again reduction so what you are doing is you are using two reactions to get a third reaction which is also the same as the previous two clear it's not a redox reaction that we are trying to make if it is not a redox reaction that we are trying to make try and understand that we cannot use the we cannot add these values agar ye redox reaction banta maan lijiye ki ye jo reaction hai ye ek redox reaction hota the th the final थर्ड रिएक्शन जो हमें निकालना है दोनों कंबाइन करके इफ दैट वुड हैड बीन अ रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन देन यहां पे जितने भी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लूज हो रहे हैं गेन हो रहे हैं उससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है यू जस्ट हैव टू ऐड दीज वैल्यूज वेदर दिस लूजेस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दिस गेन्स टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और दिस लूजेस थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दिस गेन्स टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इफ इट इज अ रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन यू डू नॉट हैव टू वरी अबाउट कि यहां पे कितने इलेक्ट्रॉन्स का लॉस हो रहा है यहां पे कितने इलेक्ट्रॉन्स का गेन हो रहा है बट अगर जो थर्ड रिएक्शन है दिस इज द एग्जैक्ट सेम एज द फर्स्ट टू रिएक्शन इन नेचर दिस इज रिडक्शन दिस इज ऑल्सो रिडक्शन दिस इज ऑल्सो रिडक्शन देन यू कैनॉट एड दीज वैल्यूज यू विल हैव टू यूज द फ्री एनर्जी मेथड टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन आप कैसे सॉल्व करेंगे आई विल राइट दिस थिंग एज एफ ई टू प्लस चेंजेस टू एफ ई इट टेक्स अप टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो फॉर दिस डेल्टा जी नॉट वन वुड बी रिटर्न एज माइनस टू एफ ई नॉट दट इज पॉइंट फोर फोर दिस विल बिकम पॉजिटिव सॉरी या दिस विल बिकम पॉजिटिव बिकॉज इट इज डेल्टा जी इज माइनस एन एफ ई ऑन दिस इज माइनस पॉइंट फोर फोर तो ये पॉजिटिव हो जाएगा वैल्यू डेल्टा जी डेल्टा जी इज माइनस एन एफ ई so since this is negative so this will become positive now second equation ko hum kya likhenge fe3 plus changes to fe2 plus it takes up how many electrons one electron it takes up one electron kitna electron le raha hai one electron delta g not kitna hoga bataiye delta g not kitna hona chahiye delta g not 2 will be equal to minus 1 f 0.77 ओके माइनस वन एफ पॉइंट सेवन सेवन नाउ फॉर द थर्ड इक्वेशन थर्ड इक्वेशन के लिए मुझे निकालना है सो मैं थर्ड इक्वेशन को क्या लिख दूंगा आई विल राइट थर्ड इक्वेशन एज एफ ई थ्री प्लस चेंजिंग इन टू एफ ई एंड दिस विल बी रिटर्न एज डेल्टा जी नॉट थ्री विच कैन बी रिटर्न एज इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर गेंड थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर गेंड विच विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री माइनस थ्री एफ ई नॉट विच इज टू बी कैलकुलेटेड पक्का एग्जैक्टली exactly, ऐसा बनेगा इक्वेशन नाउ क्या हम बोल सकते हैं 
कि दिस इक्वेशन द थर्ड इक्वेशन कैन बी ऑप्टेंड बाई एडिंग द फर्स्ट टू इक्वेशन आप दोनों इक्वेशन को एड कर दोगे इफ यू एड द फर्स्ट टू इक्वेशन क्या हो जा रहा है यू आर गेटिंग दिस ये कैंसिल हो जाएगा ओके सो डेल्टा जी नॉट थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू डेल्टा जी नॉट वन प्लस डेल्टा जी नॉट टू सो वाई कैन राइट माइनस थ्री एफ ई नॉट विल बिकम इक्वल टू माइनस पॉइंट सेवन सेवन एफ प्लस पॉइंट एट एट एफ ओके एफ को हटा दीजिए एंड ई नॉट विल बी नथिंग बट माइनस पॉइंट वन वन बाई थ्री दिस विल गिव मी एन आंसर कितना आ जाना चाहिए जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सेवन आएगा आंसर राइट आंसर विल टर्न ऑट टू बी बी क्लियर exactly isi tarah se solve karna hai if you see that the last reaction or the third reaction is the one which we obtain as similar to the first two reaction it's it's a reduction pehle do bhi reduction hai it's an oxidation pehle do bhi oxidation hai then you have to remember that you have to use this method agar ye redox ho jata if the third reaction would had been redox then you can directly add the e not values you do not have to worry about the electrons clear chalo नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे चलते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन प्रोवाइड विद इनिशियल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ए नॉट इज पॉइंट टू इफ रिएक्ट्स विद इनिशियल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू ए नॉट द हाफ लाइफ इज अभी हमने सॉल्व किया टी हाफ इन अ जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू ए इफ इट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू ए इफ आई इंक्रीज द अमाउंट ऑफ ए टी हाफ विल ऑलवेज इंक्रीज नाउ ओवर हेयर टी हाफ इनिशियल टी हाफ इज 0.2 seconds. Now I have changed the initial concentration to two times. The T half will also change by two times, and it will become 0.4 seconds. I do not even have to lift the pen to solve this question. The right answer for this question is 0.4 seconds. ठीक है? चलिए. Next is this. Among the following graphs. Showing variation of rate with temperature for a reaction, the one that exhibits arrhenius behavior of the entire range of temperature. Arrhenius behavior, हम कैसे बताते हैं? Arrhenius behavior talks about the dependence of rate constant on temperature. What is arrhenius equation? It talks of dependence of rate constant on temperature, and it looks like, and the equation looks like this: K is equal to a e to the power minus e a upon R T. ठीक है? आप दोनों तरफ लॉग ले लो ओके यू टेक लॉग ऑन बोथ साइड्स व्हाट यू वुड गेट इज लॉग के इज इक्वल टू लॉग ए माइनस ई ए अपॉन टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो ए बाई आर टी लॉग ई लॉग ई को आप लिख सकते हैं वन बाई टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री it looks like the equation of a straight line where this is y 1 by t ko main x le leta hu okay i rewrite this equation as e a by 2.303 r and 1 upon t so 1 upon t becomes x this becomes m and this becomes c so it looks like a y equals to mx plus c equation with there is a intercept and with a negative slope so equation kaisa hona chahiye 1 by t this is 1 by t 1 by t so kaisa hona chahiye ln k versus 1 by t 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 uh B एंड D look exactly the same, so B and D दोनों correct हो जाने चाहिए Okay? B and D should both be correct because they look exactly the same. कुछ change होना चाहिए था However, with the question that has been given to us, B and D look exactly the same. B and D को same बना देंगे एल एन के सो लॉग के लिया गया है हम इसको एल एन के भी ले सकते हैं आई कैन द राइट आंसर विल टर्न आउट टू बी बी 
as well as d if this is given it will turn out to be like this okay actually let's go on to the next question the standard electrode potential of zinc 2 plus changing into zinc is 0.76 and that of c 2 plus changing to cu is 0.34 it's a daniel cell okay daniel cell hota hai the amf and the free energy of the daniel cell is so when we are constructing a cell ek cell mein redox reaction hoga okay the moment redox reaction happens it will supply or it will utilize the chemical energy to give electrical energy it's a spontaneous process so for that e should be positive for e to be positive dono mein se koi ek electrode ko hum anode banayenge and one will be made cathode so that the sum of these values will be positive so you are dekh rahe ho ki zinc 2 plus changes to zinc likha hua hai so zinc 2 plus changes to zinc iska matlab ki this is given for reduction and this is also given for reduction so in dono reduction mein se mujhe ek ko oxidation karna hai if i make this oxidation if copper ko hum oxidize kar dete hain aur isko reduce redux uh, 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 reduction mein hi rakh dete hain then what will happen is that this 0.34 will become minus 0.34 and this will retain as minus 0.76 adding both these values will give a negative value i should in my endeavor should be to obtain positive values and to do that i should change this to oxidation if i change this to oxidation the this point minus 0.76 will become plus 0.76 and this will be point plus point 34 the answer will turn out to be 1.1 plus 1.1 plus 1.1 ek hi option hai theek hai so you can eliminate and the right answer should be b i do not even have to calculate the free energy change because the moment i know that i have correctly calculated e there's only one option like that i can eliminate the choices uh after remember that i am not giving any uh preference to the number of electrons which are lost during reduction sorry lost during oxidation and gain during reduction why i am not doing that is because it is a redox reaction redox reaction mein electrons ko hum value nahi denge i will only give importance to e of the cell now why do we do that प्लीज डू वॉच द इलेक्ट्रो केमिस्ट्री लेक्चर ऑन ऑनलाइन पार्टशाला वहां पर हमने डिस्कस किया है इन डिटेल एंड वी हैव प्रूव दिस दैट वाई इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओंट मैटर इफ इट इज नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लॉस्ट और गेन्ड ओंट मैटर इफ इट इज अ रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन इट वोट मैटर इफ द थर्ड रिएक्शन टर्नस आउट टू बी द सेम एज द फर्स्ट एंड द सेकेंड रिएक्शन क्लियर चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे चलते हैं The Arrhenius plot of two reactions, one and two, is shown graphically. The graph suggests that. Now, for this, uh, the proper labeling would be that this is graph one, and this is graph. This is graph one, and this is graph two. Okay, upper wala graph one and niche wala graph two hai. So, if you look at this, L and K versus one by T diya gaya hai. So. this will be the intercept this will be the intercept for second case what does intercept tell us intercept tells us about the pre exponential factor or a so pre exponential factor will be greater for 1 compared to 2 so a1 should be greater than 2 so a1 is greater than 2 in this case and in this case next what is the slope slope was minus E A by R because it is L N so I will not write two point three zero three if it is L N I will not write two point three zero three so minus E A by two R so if the slope is more steep if the slope is more steep then E A value is higher can I say that negative slope if the slope is more steep then it is higher hai, E A value so for this E A value is also higher than the ea value for the second reaction so the right answer is e a1 should be more than a2 e1 should also be more than e2 e represents activation energy and a represents pre exponential factor so the right answer should be a clear chali next question is this 
if the molar conductivity of NaCl, KCl, NaOH at infinite dilution, this is again an application of Kolresk law. And Kolresk law, we have solved the HOAC wala question solve tha. on the same lines. Ye dekh lo ki hume kis ka nikalna hai for KOH. And you have been given for NaCl, KCl, and NaOH. So please post in comment section as to what is the right answer to this question because this type of question we have solved. Uh, please do that and I will let you know in the comment section that whether you have done it correctly or not. So exactly same, just rearrange the values over here so as to get the value for KOH. Okay, chali. Next is the rate constant of a chemical reaction at a very high temperature will approach. This is very a little conceptual. So K is equal to A e to the power minus E A upon R T. Okay. Very high temperature means T is infinity. If T is infinity, if this becomes infinitely large, this value, this value will become ye 1 by infinity ke form me ajaga. Okay, some value by infinity uh, ke form me ajaga. And this will become equal to what? 0. If e to the power 0 is taken, k will become equal to a. So, at infinitely large temperature, k will approach the Arrhenius frequency factor or pre exponential factor. First option, dekho, wohan pe thoda sa confusion ho sakta hai. Arrhenius frequency factor divided by the ideal gas constant. But are we dividing it by ideal gas constant? No. So first option is just given to confuse you. The right answer should be C. The right answer should be C. Okay. Next question is this. The standard reduction potential of a few metal ions, uh, electrodes, ion metal electrodes is given below. Cr3 plus, Cu2 plus, Pb2 plus, Ag plus. The reducing strength of the metals should follow the order. What is the meaning of reducing strength? Reducing strength means the reducing power. When something reduces some other element, it undergoes self oxidation. Okay, so reducing power, I would say, reducing power. is proportional to ability to undergo बताइए क्या होगा ability to undergo self oxidation any entity which undergoes oxidation quite easily will give out electrons and will reduce something else okay now what are these values given for you can see that Ag plus change to Ag Pb2 plus changes to Pb. These are given for reduction potential because they are reduction reactions. What I need to look for is oxidation potentials in ka kya hai. Kyunki inka oxidizing behavior mujhe check karna hai. If it undergoes oxidation quite easily, then it will act as a good reducing agent. Please do remember that. If it acts as a good ox, uh, if it has, if it can oxidize itself quite easily, it will act as a good reducing agent agent okay so what will be the oxidation potential written for chromium chromium ke liye hum 0 0.74 i will just reverse this cu minus 0 0.34 pb 0.13 and ag i'll read this is minus 0.8 now I can see that these these are E naught values. Jitna E naught value positive hoga, delta G or feasibility of happening of that reaction will be more because delta G is equal to minus N F E. So if E is positive, delta G is negative, and from thermodynamics we know that delta G if is negative, then the process is feasible. So Kis ke liye delta, neg delta G sabse other negative hoga? Delta G sabse other negative kis ke liye hoga? Chromium. And least negative will be for Ag. So chromium sabse other hoona chahiye and Ag sabse last mein. 
and the right answer should be B okay so reducing strength or follows the order chromium is the best reducing agent fall and AG is the worst reducing agent chromium would want to undergo oxidation to reduce something AG would not want to do that okay chali next it takes one hour for a first order reaction to go 50 percent completion the total time required for the same reaction to reach 87.5 percent completion now in first order reaction it is important to know certain re results and ye results mein aapko summarize kar deta hon. if you look at the time which takes for 50 percent completion and compare it with the time it takes for 75 percent completion then time for 75 com percent completion is twice of T50 percent. Time of 87.5 percent completion is three times of this. Time for 99.99 percent completion is T50 percent times 10. This you can calculate quite easily. If you calculate karne ke liye, agar aapko lena hai, to A, A ko A is a rana do. But for this, what you do is you take X as 0.75A. For this, you take X as 0.875A. And you use this equation T is equal to K. Uh, T is equal to 2.303 upon K log of A by A minus X. If you place X as 0.75A, this will become 0.25A. This will become log, uh, this will become 0.25 and this will be A. So, ye ho jayega log 4. Log 4 ko aap lik sakte ho. 2 log 2. Okay. And T 50% hota hai log 2. Okay, so T50% agar aap likhte T50% aap likhte hain, then it will become 2.303 upon K log 2. Because this will be A, this will be A by 2. So, ye ho jayega. And T75% agar aap likhoge, if you write it as T75%, then it will turn out to be 2.303 upon K log of 4. I can write this thing as 2.303 times 2 sorry log 2 so doesn't this look like twice of this value okay similarly substitutions need to be done so as to get the right result i have just given you the final result three times of the so uh, one hour for 50 percent 87.5 percent will take three hours right answer should be d okay fine chili Let's go on to the next question. Please do remember this. Please do remember this. Please do take a note of this. Please do try to derive this before the KPY examination. You can derive it for 95% as well, 99% as well, and 99.99%. 99% diya Try to derive it for 95%. Try to derive it for 99%. Okay? Chali. Next. For electroplating, 1.5 ampere current is passed for 250 seconds 250 uh, through 250 ml of 0.15 molar solution of mso4 only 80 85 percent of current was utilized for electrolysis the molarity of mso4 solution after electrolysis is closest to assume that the volume of the solution remains constant how do we solve this question what simple question hai? however things look a little difficult but let's try to understand how to solve the question in the simplest possible manner so what i will do is it is mso4 so what is the oxidation state of m2 plus so i will first write m2 plus should take up two electron to convert into m so one m2 plus takes two electrons to convert into this one mole of m2 plus will take up two moles of electrons to convert into m one mole of m so can i say that one mole of m2 plus requires two 
फैरडे ऑफ चार्ज वाई टू ऑफ फैरडे ऑफ चार्ज बिकॉज वन मोल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन कैरीज वन फैरडे ऑफ चार्ज ओके टू मोल्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन कैरीज टू फैरडे ऑफ चार्ज यूजिंग दिस कैन वी से टू फैरडे ऑफ चार्ज रिड्यूस वन मोल ऑफ एम टू प्लस वन फैरडे रिड्यूसेस वन अपॉन टू मोल्स ऑफ एम टू प्लस एंड हाउ मेनी फैरडेज हैव वी टेकन कैसे हम कैलकुलेट करेंगे 1.5 एम्पीयर इज पास फॉर 250 फिफ्टी सेकेंड सो करेंट टाइम्स टी डिवाइडेड बाई नाइन सिक्स फाइव जीरो जीरो सो वन पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स टू फिफ्टी अपॉन नाइन सिक्स फाइव जीरो जीरो फैरडे विल रिड्यूस वन बाई टू टाइम्स वन पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स टू फिफ्टी अपॉन नाइन सिक्स फाइव जीरो जीरो मोल्स ऑफ एफ ई टू प्लस मोल्स ऑफ एफ ई टू प्लस ओके यू विल गेट दिस रिजल्ट यू विल गेट दिस रिजल्ट ओके ये रिजल्ट आप कैलकुलेट कीजिए प्लीज ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट दिस नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन हम क्या सॉल्व करेंगे कैन यू सी दैट ओनली एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द करेंट वॉज इन्वॉल्व और ओनली एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द करेंट वॉज यूटिलाइज सो इफेक्टिवली हाउ मच हाउ मेनी मोल्स वेर रिड्यूस्ड पॉइंट एट फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ दिस इफेक्टिव नंबर ऑफ इफेक्टिव यूटिलाइजेशन आई विल राइट इट ओवर हियर सो इफेक्टिव यूटिलाइजेशन means how many are reduced how many are reduced uh, i would say 1 upon 2 times 1.5 times 250 upon 96500 times 0.85 okay now ye question uh, unusually lengthy lag raha hai kyunki itne lengthy questions दिए नहीं जाते हवे दिस इज इजी क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट दिया गया है कि इट इज पास थ्रू अ सॉल्यूशन व्हिच इज 250 फिफ्टी एम एल ऑफ पॉइंट वन मोल आर सो मोल्स ऑफ एम टू प्लस इन द सॉल्यूशन मोल्स ऑफ एम टू प्लस इन द सॉल्यूशन कितना है मोलैरिटी मोलैरिटी टाइम्स वॉल्यूम इन लीटर्स सो पॉइंट टाइम्स पॉइंट टू फाइव मोल्स क्लियर ये मोल्स रिड्यूस हो गए हैं दीज आर रिड्यूस्ड एंड दीज वेयर दंस प्रेजेंट हाउ मच इज लेफ्ट आउट विल बी हाउ मच इज लेफ्ट आउट विल बी द डिफरेंस ऑफ दीज टू थिंग्स सो पॉइंट वन फाइव टाइम्स पॉइंट टू फाइव minus the utilized amount is the number of moles of f number of moles of m2 plus left this is the number of moles of m2 plus which is left out aapko nikalna kya hai molarity nikalni hai to aap kya karoge molarity of the solution after electrolysis will be 0.15 times 0.25 minus 1 upon 2 times 0.15 sorry 1.5 times 250 upon 96500 times 0.85 divided by what is the volume 250 ml that is 1/4 of a liter or 0.25 25 liters ye aapka answer aa jayega aapki molarity iska answer kitna aata hai aap comment section mein likhiye calculate karke but i'm telling you the answer will turn out to be somewhere about b aana chahiye if i'm not wrong the answer should turn out to be somewhere about b but please do let me know what is the answer that you are getting kyunki main isko abhi solve nahi kar raha hu jab uh, maine dekha tha to mujhe laga देखने से लग रहा है कि ये पॉइंट जीरो वन फोर के आसपास होना चाहिए ठीक है 
सो बट डू ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस एंड पोस्ट द आंसर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ठीक है दिस इज आई गेस द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ठीक है द एंथेल्पी ऑफ एन एलिमेंट्री एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन एलिमेंट्री रिएक्शन दट गेट्स कंप्लीट इन सिंगल स्टेप सो is schematically plotted against the reaction coordinate the plots in presence and absence of catalyst so what catalyst does is catalyst will lower the activation energy barrier and if it is exothermic exothermic mein product energy should be less than the reactant energy only then energy is given out reactant ka pass zyada hai product mein jaate jaate kam ho gaya kyunki usne extra energy bahar de di so product energy should be less तो सबसे पहले तो प्रोडक्ट एनर्जी लेस होना चाहिए सो so, ये तो हो ही नहीं सकता है आइदर दिस कुड बी पॉसिबल और दिस कुड बी पॉसिबल और दिस कुड बी पॉसिबल नाउ इफ आई लुक एट द प्रेजेंस एंड एब्सेंस ऑफ कैटलिस्ट नाउ यू कैन सी दैट सम डॉटेड लाइंस आर शोन बिलो द प्रोडक्ट लाइन डॉटेड लाइंस आर शोन अब द प्रोडक्ट लाइन रिमेंबर that catalyst does not alter the energy of products or reactants it only lowers the energy of the peak or in threshold energy barrier ye jo peak hai iski height ko wo kam kar deta hai okay iski height ko wo kam kar deta hai but isko change nahi karega this thing and this thing will not be altered delta h for the reaction is not altered where are we altering it yahan pe alter kar rahe hain to ye galat ho jayega we are also altering it in this so this will also become incorrect the right answer should be a identify the correct plot the correct plot should be a clear so very simple questions aate hain chemical kinetics radioactivity and electrochemistry se ghabraiye ga nahi remember to uh, solve questions primarily from zero order first order t half arrhenius equation delta g and uh, cell potential or e uh, electrode potential relationship and faraday's first law iske alave bahut zyada question and uh, sorry conductance iske alave bahut zyada questions nahi diye jate hain bahut simple questions diye jate hain only question which involved some calculation was the one before this isse zyada calculation wala question bhi nahi aata hai so question mein thoda time lagega but you will get the answer okay easy topic try to solve these questions try to revise these formula just before going for the examination and this brings us to the end of the session uh, i'd like to tell you that kpa mock tests would be scheduled and they are scheduled on the lighting price of 1000 rupees there would be two part tests three full tests and a complete analysis of it as well next session jo hoga wo atomic structure bonding pe hoga and please do join us uh, on 29th of august also join the telegram group and please do like share and subscribe the channel please do tell your friends about the video and about the kpy sessions that are being held regularly for sa as well as sx stream with this i saurav goswami take leave i hope you have enjoyed today's session and learned few ways to solve questions which are already pretty easy aap aaram se solve kar sakte hain lekin agle session ko please join kijiye and please keep liking us subscribing us and have a lovely day ahead Bye bye guys have a lovely time